Hey everybody, uh, so this video we've got the uh, Cuisinart Cuisin uh, Egg Central CE C10 Egg Cooker and this is from the uh, countertop cooking series so it's not for desktop or laptop or stovetop or anything, it's for countertop. And I'm going to go ahead and unbox it here. Uh, this thing actually uh, made out of brushed stainless steel, you can cook 10 eggs in the shell or you can make omelets or poached eggs and if you've uh, followed any of my other YouTube videos you know that I don't even like eggs so the only one I'm interested in is hard boiled eggs because they're cheap, easy, nutritious and I won't be uh, doing the rest of it. That's probably going to be our poached tray I think. Instructions in the package. Okay. And so we have our uh, stylish lid with uh, steam vent holes. And, uh, no idea what these are. Our measuring cup with our uh, just having a piercing needle there. It's actually got a metal piercing needle, and you can see that or not, it's better than the uh, plastic ones that some of these have. And got our upper cooking tray, and this is going to be the omelet tray, and of course our lower cooking tray. And uh, all this stuff is dishwasher safe. All the uh, not not the base obviously, but the rest of it's dishwasher safe. So I'm going to go ahead and throw it all in the dishwasher and get it washed. And I will uh, figure out what the hell these are. So we'll do a jump cut and we'll be back to trying to cook some hard boiled eggs. Alright, and through the magic of editing everything is now clean. Figured out what these are. If you make disgusting soft boiled eggs, you I guess can cut the top off and you can set the egg in it to eat it. So that's not something I'll ever be doing. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to try to do 10 hard boiled eggs. So got our very easy to read cup. I've had some of the other ones of these that the cup's not easy to read of how much water you're supposed to use. So we're going to go ahead and just fill it to the 160 milliliter line and pour it in. And pull a little cover off. And we're going to pierce our eggs. Alright, and then we're going to put our cooker goes on top. It says right on it this side up, that's helpful. Alright, 10 eggs, and we're going to take our stylish stainless steel lid, place it on top. And our next step will just be to flip the switch and wait for the buzzer. Alright, so it took uh, 18 minutes to cook. And there's our buzzer, so we're going to switch it off. Take off our stylish stainless steel lid. And that top egg, like it uh, out top. Gotta get it into the water. Stop the cooking process. All right, and uh, one of them on the top split open, but it doesn't seem okay. So I'm going to just give it about five minutes here in the uh, ice water, or the cold water. 
and we'll cut them open and see what they look like. All right, and it's been five minutes, so see uh, how easy they are to peel. Not bad. That's uh, really the best reason to have one of these egg cookers is just to peel easy. And that one didn't come out totally clean, but it's all right. And this is the one off the top here. That one peeled real easy. And then we'll uh, try one more here. And it peeled real easy. I just want to cut them. See how cooked they are. And this one's at the top row. And one of the bigger ones there. Cut um, quite all the way through, but it's all right. And with the top, looks like they cook perfectly. Well, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, and uh, I guess I might try doing a video when I got somebody else here to eat them. Maybe try poached eggs. I don't like. I said I don't like them, but these uh, look like they turned out okay. Uh, a lot better than my old uh, Hamilton Beach one. You know, it's hit or miss if they cooked good or not. And I'm gonna put a drop a link to uh, the Amazon page to buy these if you're interested in the Cuisinart uh, 10A cooker. And uh, that'll do it for this video, and uh, we'll talk to everybody later.